But the warning for you tonight is don't grieve the Holy Ghost and quench not the Spirit of God. Don't stifle what God is doing in this generation. Don't stifle what God is doing in this nation. Don't stifle what God is doing through the young people. God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. I had an abortion in 2015 sitting in my shower. The Lord called me while I was murdering a baby. Can you imagine? In a moment as disgusting as that, God said, you're mine. I know this makes some of you uncomfortable because all of you are perfect, but I have a guy named Paul in the Bible who was on his way to go kill a village because he was known as the Hitler of his time. I know you think everybody is perfect, but the Bible said he was going to go slaughter everybody like he'd been doing because he was rich and he was a murderer. But a man named Ananias prayed and said, God, we need help. He's coming to kill us. And God met Paul on a street called Straight on a road to Damascus and immediately put him on a fasting regimen and took the scales off of his eyes. The scales were Leviathan. He was a man filled with pride. And just like me, I have no Bible training. I have no lesson. I didn't come up in church. I don't know how this is supposed to go. But I'm a woman of God that has the fear of the Lord. I don't fear the faces of men. I don't compromise for the pulpit. We live in a generation where truth has become hate speech. You hate any man or woman of God that teaches the truth. Don't say that. They're not going to like it. Woe be to you who cause good evil and evil good. God is using the foolish things of the world like myself to confound the wise.